Hey, hope you're having a great Saturday. And in case you don't know me, my name is Jason Chang, one half of a husband and wife team, and we're dedicated to helping you reclaim your physical and financial health. And I specialize on the physical side. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, I was gonna do this video a little bit different, I was gonna talk about different things, but I need to speak from my heart on this one. And I wanna actually talk to you about the identity of Jason. Who is Jason, where was Jason, and how did the Jason you've seen before you become today? Um, the truth is, after I got out of the military, um, I was in a bad place. I was in a really, really bad place mentally and physically. And in the military, it it reassured some things of the negativity of life. That, oh, people are bad. This is a horrible place. It's dangerous here. And I took on that identity. Um, just to give you a little bit of background on my military life, I went to the Iraq War. Um, I worked military intelligence. I uh, had a nice clearance, you know, doing all of those things. Uh, it's, it's not like the movies make you believe. Uh, you really get to see the, uh, the horrific side of humanity and the things that we're able to do. And that really affected me for a lot of my life. And I'll be honest with you, I'm just now, like the past two, three years, starting to even come over some of these things where I can speak about them. And so, after that, it took me to a very, very dark spiral. I was trying to readjust into civilian life, and it just wasn't working. Uh, one of the things that most people kept asking me all the time was like, did you kill people? Did you kill people? And I was just like, why does that matter? Like, of all the questions they asked me, like, I survived war, you just want to know if I took someone's life. And so all those things were just starting to affect me mentally, which started affecting me physically. And so I started spiraling into deep bouts of depression and anxiety, and I didn't even know what those were. Um, growing up in my community, you don't hear those words, depression or anxiety. I only saw it on TV, so I thought it was just a movie. I didn't know it was real things. And because of that, my physical health started declining. Um, I started losing mobility. I started gaining tons of weight. And before I knew it, I was over 550 plus pounds taking over 40 pills, I had lost all feeling up in my left knee, uh, below my left knee, and I wasn't able to walk because of drop foot. Um, and I'm talking about this is when I was like 25, 26 years old. Um, from there, I took on the identity of a sick person, an unhappy person, a hateful person, an angry person. And from that place, you know, I was really, really crying out for help and no one was listening to me in the VA. No one's listening to me in the medical facilities. Um, I knew I wasn't nothing more than another number again. And I just spiraled even more into anger and depression to where it became... Before I go to the next level, I'm gonna explain why I went to this really, really dark place and what I like to call my personal Dante's Inferno. Um, when I was 26 or 27, uh, Cece and I were trying to have a kid. Um, it wasn't able to happen. And the truth is it was because of me. I was in such a sick state. And the reason why I wanted to have the kid was so uh, there would be something left for me also. I knew if I had a kid, she would, the government would be forced to make sure all my benefits go to her and she wouldn't have that much stress. Uh, from, from there, I found out I'm not able to have kids. Um, and it broke me. It, it really, really broke me. But it saved me at the same time. Because um, all I was waiting for was just to be able to have a child with her. And then I already had the gun picked out. I had the bullet with my name on it. And I was going to take my life. Because I didn't see any purpose of being on this planet anymore. One of the things I've been learning the past few years is life happens for us. It doesn't happen to us. And after yesterday, our 12 hour training with Tony, uh, with Joseph McClendon the third, he was our trainer. It really, really hit home for me. 
that life happened for me and all of those situations happened for me to get me to this day to where I'm able to help more people in this world. And that's how this hashtag, Reclaim Your Health, actually got started. It came from that dark bout of, because I wasn't able to have a kid, I wasn't able to kill myself. I couldn't leave CC in this world struggling and hurt. And I said I would do whatever it takes to be a better husband, be a healthier husband, be a healthier human being, and be a better person. And from there I made a decision, and I committed to that decision. And from that decision is who you see today. But you don't see all of Jason. And a lot of people think success is this marvelous thing that gets you to a great place right away, and it's not true. So I've been on this journey for about seven to nine years, uh, reclaiming my health. And it's been a, a up and down journey, but it's been great. It's been beautiful. Not only that, I learned what success really looks like. Success doesn't look like you do something one time and then you get what you expect. Success is gonna give you what you expect over time, but it gives you a gradual increase. So I'm gonna do something I've never done before. No one have seen Jason but CC. And so this is what success looks like for Jason. So as you see, I have to wear compression shirts. I have loose skin. And the reason why I'm sharing this is because health does not mean skinny. Unhealthy does not mean being fat. It means internal, what's inside of you, your emotions, your sales, if you're taking prescription pills, that is what health means. And as you can see, like now, I'm just at a place where I have about anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds of loose skin, and I'm just waiting. Once the world opens up, I can have my skin surgery. And it sucks. Like, there's not a day go by I don't ask CC, like, hey, you know, does my chest stick down in my shirt? I still have insecurities. But I don't let those insecurities become my identity anymore. Um, so like now my identity is being the healthiest person possible. And I don't want to say this to brag, but there's only about five to 10% of the population in the world that is healthier than me. And most of them is where I wear all of my material. I literally went from a place of not being able to walk, not being able to jump, not being able to breathe, wearing a CPAP machine at night, not knowing if I was gonna, if the, the electricity went out, not knowing if I was gonna be able to wake up next to CC the next morning, to I no longer use a CPAP. I no longer have diabetes. I no longer have high blood pressure. I can walk in my left leg. I no longer have drop foot. I no longer have um, dead nerves and nerves weaker. I no, no longer have heart problems. I no longer have erectile dysfunction problems. And all this is because I chose to reclaim my health. But by reclaiming my health, I learned the proper way. And through learning that proper way, I learned also there's this big veil over us on nutrition. We're all told to go to the doctor. We're all told to go get pills, and it's a lie. You don't need to be taking pills. If a pill didn't cause your problem, a pill isn't going to solve your problem. And this isn't no fancy marketing on this one today. This is just talking from my heart. And I just really wanted you to know who is Jason, my identity, where I came from. And I'm going to be sharing more about my personal story. Um, I do need to get this stuff out more and let people understand who I really am. And it's not just this husband and wife that's living across the sea live across the country, we keep moving from country to country. We're people just like you, and we've been suffering, and we chose to reclaim our health to stop suffering, and that's why we're here to help other people. And so really, I'd just like to give you just an exercise. What is your identity? What are the beliefs that you're telling yourself over and over again? Are you telling yourself you're someone with lupus? Are you telling yourself I'm a diabetic? Are you telling yourself I'm overweight? Because the moment you stop telling yourself those things and start doing other things, you will no longer be that person. And so I gotta get out of here and get back. I'm not gonna watch on. You gotta get out of here and get back to our training. It's about to start. But I love you. Hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Ciao.